Welcome everybody back to another AC Milan Master League in Pro Evo 2017. Today we're going to be starting off this episode by taking on Genoa away from home. And then we do have a match coming up against Juve once again away from home. So let's jump into the first match of this episode. See if we can pick up another big three points and remain the first place team at the top of the table. So boys, we're going to be going with Donnarumma, Calabria, Gomez, Romagnoli, Vangioni, Paredes, Kuchka, Bonaventura, Suso, Lapadula, and Niang playing as left winger because I do want to rest some of my players for next week's match coming up against Juve. Genoa not going to be an easy opponent by any means, but uh, they do have a, a decent amount of players. I think they have Pavoletti up front. Uh, not, not, he didn't move, so we're going to have to watch him. Calabria has been playing absolutely incredible. Even Donnarumma has been playing incredible. Uh, our team has just been in really good form the past couple of games. And uh, we only did play about three or four matches in this whole career, in this whole Master League. But I'm really, really feeling it. And I think we could do big things this season. Fangioni into La Padula. La Padula to Bonaventura. Bonaventura is going to lay this one off for Calabria. Calabria on trying to get it into Kushka. Bonaventura now to Kushka. Can he turn on this defender? There it is. Let's whip this one in. Somebody get there. Lapadula's in front of goal. And there it is. Gianluca Lapadula opens up his account for AC Milan by slotting that one into the back of the net off a rebound. And I think after this game, I'm actually going to change to the highest difficulty in the game. Because right now, I think I'm playing on top player. And the highest difficulty is Superstar or something like that. Either way, I'm going to be changing it after this game because I think I've got the hang of it and I think I can play on the highest difficulty. Bonaventura. Here's Niang. Niang lays that one for Lapadula. Lapadula. Can he give it back to Niang? Niang into the middle to Suzo. Suzo's there. Beautiful. Absolutely incredible bit of passing to lead to that goal. And there it is. It's 2-0. Suzo. Uh, I think that might be his first or second goal. Pretty sure it's his second. We're up 2-0 against Genoa. Here's Pavoletti, who I said we need to watch. Trying to get something, but that pass is picked off by Paredes to Suso. Suso on the ball. Suso into the middle to Kushka. Kushka back, right back to Suso. Suso on the wing, trying to take this in. Trying to do a little bit of skills, but gets taken off once again. Way too easily. Intercepts that one and it goes out. Niang is there. Niang is there. He scored already, I think, two or three headers. Kuchka was trying to go for a shot. Here comes Genoa on the attack. We've got three defenders back, so it's going to be really tough for Pavoletti to actually do anything here. That's blocked by Gustavo Gomez. Let's see if we can start an attack from that challenge. Niang up to Lapadula. Lapadula on the ball. Can he get this over? That's a nice ball to Jack. Here's Jack Bonaventura. Bonaventura takes the first time shot. That one's wide. That's the end of the first half. 2-0. And we're actually dominating this match. One goal by Suzo, one goal by Lapadula. Jump into the second half, see if we can extend our lead. Fangioni, Bonaventura, nice passing. Here's Kushka. Kushka outside the box, avoids the sliding challenge. Calabria, Calabria right back into Kushka. Kushka, can he turn? Give this one to Jack. Bonaventura, this is some nice passing. Lapadula, Lapadula on his right foot. Lapadula, there's number two for him. He's taking that Serie B form that he brought up. And bringing it into this game. His second goal this match. Honestly, phenomenal passing. Genoa have no idea what's hitting them right now. And a beautiful curling effort into the bottom right corner. 3-0. Oh, that's a nice ball. Donnarumma's there. And Genoa get one back. Split open my defense. I was way too aggressive with Gomez and Romagnoli. Trying to take that one forward. And Genoa makes us pay by putting that one in. 3-1. Can Sosa recover this ball that he lost? Gonna go to Gomez. Gomez. Paredes. Paredes. Nice. Nice play. Give this one to Kuchka. Kuchka back to Sosa. Sosa. Give this one into Kuchka. Kuchka to Adriano. Adriano tries to take a shot. But a defender is straight there to clear that one out. Nice ball. Here's Adriano. Adriano to Niang. Niang who is finished. Let's give this back to Adriano. Adriano's there. Adriano gets. Just flops all over the floor. Trying to go for that headed goal. That uh, I think he scored maybe two or three last season of. Just couldn't get that one off. And that's going to be the end of the match. Pretty, pretty easy game. Uh, I guess we are facing off against an easy opponent. But I think I'm going to bump it up to the highest difficulty in this match against Juve. 3-1 victory. Another three points. Ten points after I don't know how many matches played. So we've just got a, a notification that says this is a report on the development of your players. Mattia De Chilio has now mastered skill training track back. 
Let's actually go take a look at that. I want to see what that's all about. Uh, first, we do have the national team squad selection. Let's see uh, how many players are going to be going for the international friendly. And three players from Milan were among those selected. And uh, we also put in an offer for another regista, another, I guess, midfielder, Fernando, who was a free agent, just so we can bring him in and, I guess, bolster the squad up until January till we can actually start making some signings. Uh, the transfer fee is going to be zero, obviously, because he is a free agent. And his annual salary is going to be 800000 Let's go ahead and change the negotiation deals. If we can reduce the annual salary, uh, I guess the rate of exception is going to be 85%. So let's submit that and see if Fernando is going to accept it. Uh, if we can pay maybe 600000 for him, I'd be very, very happy with that. We've got another... Uh, We've got another notification that says it's time to register a player to my favorite players. You're going to be managing a lot of players, but this is the place for the ones you consider your stars. Register them in my favorite players, and in a few years, they'll probably be considered club legends. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can only register a player in my favorite player once per year. Now, you have just got started, so register a player you have the highest hope for. So, guys... I'm actually thinking about this one. We have two players on my mind that I would like to, I guess, consider uh, being club legends in a few years. I do have Donnarumma and... I, well, actually, now I do have three. This one just came to my mind. Romagnoli and we also do have Davide Calabria. Now, I don't know if this boosts anything on them, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Donnarumma because he's just going to be absolutely fantastic. Gianluigi Donnarumma will be saved to my favorite players. Proceed, yes. I'm going to pick Donnarumma. Maybe next season I'll give it to either Romagnoli or Calabria, but for right now I'm going to give it to my favorite. I'm going to give it to Donnarumma, not my favorite player. We actually got a scouting update. They've brought us back uh, some more center backs. But I think for now we're good. We signed Garay, who I guess played in the Europa League. But now I am going to be playing him against Juve. They brought us back Jimenez and Umtiti. So we can always keep these guys on our list. And maybe make offers for them in, I guess, the coming transfer windows. But right now, all we really need to think about is this next match coming up against Juve. Gianluigi Donnarumma will be saved to my favorite players. Yes, I thought I already did that. We advance... One more day into this career, and our next match is coming up against Juve. Very, very tough opponent. We did beat them in the Supercoppa Italiana, but now we... Okay, let's just take a look at this. That's cool. Okay, so my favorite players is a place that's worthy of the very best. Uh, yeah, we just have to click on my favorite players to see more. There's also been an update in the transfer negotiation for Fernando. And as I was saying before, I was interrupted by the game. I'm saying that, uh, yeah, we did beat Juve in the Supercoppa Italiana. But this is going to be a very, very tough game. So Fernando, his annual sal salary has been, I guess, brought down to 690000 Now, I actually would like to accept this. What if I were to reduce the annual salary once again? It's going to be 62% of being accepted. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is sign Fernando as a free agent. And the contract is going to be for 1.5 years. So let's go ahead and accept it. And if anything, if it doesn't work out, we can maybe try selling him in the January transfer window just to boost up our transfer budget. One of the biggest games we're going to be playing all season versus Juve. They're going with Buffon, Chiellini, Barzai, Bonucci, Cuadrado, Kedira, Marchisio, Pjanic, Alexandro, Dybala, Higuain. We're going with Donnarumma, Calabria, Garay, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Paredes, Suso, Kuchka, Bonaventura, Baca, and Lapadula. I think after his two-goal performance last time out, I think he deserves a start. I've changed it to Superstar. Let's jump into this match, see if we can fight off this incredible Juve side. What I didn't do was actually change the letters in Baca Juve kits. They do have a, a yellowish, I guess, lettering in back of them. I think it's supposed to be black. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks kind of stupid with the gold in back. Let's do this. I'm hoping for a big game, and right from the get-go, Juve looks like they're into this match with these passes that they're making. And uh, that's a nice interception by Romagnoli. Suzo has got Calabria running down. Let's see if we can whip in another good ball. There's Lapazula in the middle. That one's blocked by a Juve defender. And uh, Calabria, like I said, incredible. He's actually making better crosses than Abate has ever made in his life. Paradez on the ball. This one to Kuchka. Kuchka up to Calabria. Calabria, Suso. Suso back to Kuchka. We're just controlling this game. Bonaventura, Bonaventura. Lapadula, Lapadula to Baca. Baca, give it back to Lapadula. Lapadula just cannot get to that one. But we have recovered. Antonelli whipped this one in. There's Bonaventura. And that's blocked by one of the three BBCs. I don't know who that was. But we've recovered the ball. Here's Bonaventura. To Lapadula, Lapadula, Baca, Baca. Oh, beautiful passing. Just cut out once again by that incredible defense. Paredes, beautiful sliding challenge. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's get this up. Bonaventura, back into Kuchka. Kuchka, come on, Kuchka. Very, very stiff on the ball. And Antonelli, I mean, Romagnoli, don't waste the ball like that. Cuadrado sends that one in. Don't make Dybala or anybody shoot. That's a ball in. Donnarumma. Donnarumma, great point blank save. That's exactly why I gave him that my favorite players. Thank goodness for Donnarumma. Saves my awful defending. Kushka, let's go. You got this one to Suzo. Suzo, whip this one in. Lapadula is there. Lapadula goes for the header. Big save. Gigi Buffon. Nicely done. Lapadula. Lapadula, Baca. Baca straight back to Lapadula. Lapadula has got this one. Bonaventura, whip this one in. There's Baca going for it. And there it is. Carlos Baca with the headed goal once again. Uh, I'm not really sure if he has scored a headed goal, but the amount of times that one two pass and then the cross into the middle from I think that might have been Bonaventura, a very incredible cross into the middle. And it's 1 0 away from home against probably one of the best teams in Italy. And Baca, that poacher. That's exactly what you want from him. Right past Gigi Buffon, the experienced goalkeeper. And it's 1-0. That might be his second or third goal this season. And 60 minutes into this match, we've struck first. It's blocked. Can Bonaventura get this one back? Yes. We've got it. Antonelli. Antonelli. Not going to cross that one in. Should have crossed that one in when I had the chance. And that springs Higuain. Higuain. Garay. Absolute. No. Referee. That should not be called a... How? That's going to be a red card. In what world is that a red card for Garay? That was an incredible challenge. He, he took all of the ball. He took all of the ball. That is terrible officiating. Should not have gotten that red card. And Garay gets sent off in a match where he's actually been playing pretty, pretty well. We're going to have to actually switch off to, uh, I guess, three midfielders. Now, Paredes is going to be playing as that anchor man. Let's go ahead and change him to a defensive mid. And we're going to have to be bringing on Gustavo Gomez for the red-carded Garay. No way in hell. No way is that a red card. This one's to Calabria. Calabria can't get to that one. Can he get to that one? Can he get to that one? Don't know why he's pushing forward. That's a misplaced ball. Baca tried to get that one to Lapadula. Can't, no, no, no. Let's not put too much pressure. Hernanez. Hernanez into the middle. Donnarumma, come on and catch that one. Thank you. Thank you, Donnarumma. Thank you very much. Let's go. We've got two minutes left in this match of added time. Lapadula. Pasilic. Pasilic. Back. No, 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 no. That's a terrible ball. Pasilic. Get one back. Clear this one out. I think that's going to be the end of this match. Don't tell me they're going to have another opportunity. Romagnoli. Clear this one. Romagnoli, what are you doing? Clear that one. That's a shot, Donnarumma. Big save in the final moments. And that's how this match is going to end. 1-0 to us. We pick up a very, very big away match against Juve on Superstar. First match on Superstar. And it was actually very, very tough. Juve defending really well. We've got a Europa League game coming up. But what I think I'm actually going to be doing is simulating this match. See if we can pick up a victory. And we do pick up a 4-1 victory. You can see it. The second to last, uh, pretty unknown team, don't even know where they're from, 
but we're at the top of our table with six points after two matches five goals for one against i didn't think this group stage was going to be at all too hard our only real challenge is maybe fc utrecht so here's our end of the month report we've got baka and lapadula with two goals each suso with one bonaventura and niang with two assists each uh, Baka actually has a 7.0 average match rating. We got three matches played and three victories. Uh, all this is standard stuff. It says that we're mostly playing in the center of the park. And uh, honestly, I don't even know if I can agree with that. Pretty standard stuff over here. And our best dribbler actually has been Bonaventura and Calabria once again. And Kuchka. Uh, Kuchka has been playing absolutely phenomenal. He's in the, the first place of all three on the left. Baca, uh, Lapadula had four shots, two goals. Calabria won five aerial battles. And Kuchka, just a workhorse in the center of the park with 13 tackles won. So that is how this episode is going to end. If you guys have enjoyed it, you can leave me a like down below. And before that actually happens, Torino signed Robin Van Persie. That's incredible. Bonaventura and Lapadula make the team of the month of September. Joe Hart in goal. I think that's the second time he's in goal. And yeah, DeShilio has increased to a 78. That's pretty cool. And I will see you next time for a game against Torino. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay! Do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel. And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! But I can't. Yes, you can! Oh, okay.